six to ten. Can you just take us through that play, what you saw, and, and how you saw it develop in front of you? So um, we sent the blitz, um, and I'm coming. I'm coming through the uh, the the B gap, and the running back came to block me, and I shedded him, and I shedded the lineman, and I just saw Jordan Love really like throw the ball, so I just jumped up, and the ball was just right there. And then shout out Levi, man, he got that block for me, and then I knew it was touchdown, but I just couldn't really believe it. But I just want to say, man, shout out to my team, man. I couldn't do this without y'all. For sure, that's my brother, so I'm going to pick up his slack, you know what I'm saying? But this team is built off next man mentality. So, you know, we built off adversity, you know, free BB, man. But, you know, we just got to be smart when we're making plays like that. But that's just who he is. He just has that dog mentality, man. Whistle to whistle, man. We just go hard. What about the inside the 30 and the defensive effort overall? How much you rest on that? Man, like I said, man, Defense, our job is to limit points, you know what I'm saying? So the more we can limit points, that, that helps our offense and that helps the team win. So shout out to the defense, man. It wasn't perfect, but we really got the job done. Um, takeaways is just important to the defense. Wish we could have got some more. But, man, we're just going to continue to get better, watch this film, learn from it, and just continue to get better. Um, I mean, the referees going to have to do their job and stuff like that, but I'm never really going to tell B.B. to slow down. You know what I'm saying? That's just who he is. He goes full speed, and I love that about him. So, man, free B.B., free Jam 02. What did you think of the double birds? I didn't even see that. <laughs> I didn't even see what he did. But, um, yeah, you know, we, we, we going to get him. Wow. Say one. Just what's it about his game? How why is it so hard to get kind of an upper hand on, on, on golf? On golf? To, to turn the ball over with him. I feel like it's his it's his composure, you know. It was raining out there, but JG still knew what to do with the ball, you know what I'm saying? He knows where to go, how to operate his offense and who who guys he has to get the ball to in certain times. I feel like um JG's very smart too, so he just really understands. And I feel like, you know, defense and training camp, you know what I'm saying, really got him prepared for all this, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Has that, has that made you better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time, because like I said, JG's smart. So in training camp, me and him was going back at it. You know, I play safety, so I'm always reading JG's eyes and reading the concerts that he's um, going with at quarterback and stuff. So just uh, going back and forth at training camp, just really complimenting each other. You know what I'm saying? Iron sharper iron. When your quarterback carries that type of composure and poise going into a game, how does that trickle down to the rest of the game? <coughs> um, you know, I feel like we always put our trust in JG. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like JG, like you said, man, he has great composure. You know what I'm saying? So even on defense, things are going to happen. But what we got to do is keep our composure and understand, man, we're built on adverse situations. So sometimes when stuff go wrong, man, we got to make sure we get off the field like, and limit points. Um, man, I feel like it's, a, it's just everything, you know what I'm saying? Even just the comparison, um, I feel like um, one thing I always tell myself, man, I'm chasing a gold jacket, you know what I'm saying? I always tell them boys, like, what do you want your legacy to be? So every time every time I'm out there, man, I'm just showing on tape, man, this is who I am and this is who I'm going to be. Kurt Block, a little late. Did you have Josh on the assignment there or were you just coming on a blitz and it was kind of a happy accident? Was what are you talking about? Are you talking about a piss six? I had a blitz. I had a blitz. Yeah. I just go get the ball. So you just happened to run into him and it worked out real well? Yeah, yeah. So I think he came to block me, but I shedded him and I shedded our offensive lineman. And then Jordan Love just threw it, man. And all uh, glory to God, man. I just, you know, I'm thankful for it all. How quickly did you know you were able to house it? As soon as I saw Levi block, I was like, nobody's catching me at this point. Like, it's just crazy. Like, I couldn't even believe it. I'm running. I'm running in the end zone. I just really couldn't believe it. But, man, it happened, man. It's just so real, man. I just want to say thank you for my team, man. All glory to God. What about this team? Um, I feel like it's important because it's a statement out to the NFC. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we're really controlling the NFC. And, you know, it goes um, control the NFC and then going to the playoffs and then chasing that Super Bowl. But we're going to take it one step at a time, focus on who we got to focus on next week. I like that interception happened so fast you didn't even have a celebration planned. No, it didn't happen fast. I seen it in slow motion, but I was just too happy. I ain't never had no pick six, so it's just my career, my first career interception. I just, you know what, next time I got you, though. And next time I'm in the end zone, I got it, you know what I'm saying? But this time, I was just too happy. Like, I just wanted to celebrate with my team, man. You grew up, uh, I understand. What, what does it mean to you make that play? 
I mean, it, it feels like that's why I'm saying, like, I didn't even know what to do. <laughs> I just felt like, man, I just had so much emotion um, rushed to my body, man. I just, I was just happy that I could celebrate it with my teammates. That's that's what matters the most, man. I just love these guys, man. These guys, you know what I'm saying? They go, you know what I'm saying, 100% every time they touch the field, man. So I got to give my all. They gave their all, man. That's how we got this done today. My last touchdown? Man, back in high school when I played receiver. Like, it's been a long, long time since I had a touchdown, man. And it's just amazing that I got a pick six on my sixth interception. So, I mean, that's just that's just amazing. You kept that one, right? You got the ball? Yeah, yeah. You know, I can, every time. Every time. Every time. I'm just curious. The Packers were still able to put up, you know, over 400 yards. But this defense is so bent, don't break. So, how does what might be on the score sheet show just how locked down you guys got? Um, like I said, man, this defense is built at adversity. We know things are going to happen, but that don't mean, like you said, man, Ben don't don't break. You know what I'm saying? There's been times where they got down in the red zone and we stopped them and they had a missed field goal, man. That's just everything the defense is about. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to the defense. You carried around that Aaron Rodgers ball for a long time. Maybe you still do. Does this one replace that? Nah, nah, that's Aaron Rodgers, man. <laughs> yeah, that's the number one. You know what I'm saying, man? I Hopefully one day he'll sign him. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't get to that yet. You guys have a few more. Sean, go ahead. <laughs> you talk about chasing them. Yeah, you know, me and him, I know we destined for greatness, you know what I'm saying? But for real, that's really myself. Um, ever since I was a jet, man, I always wanted to really put on that gold jacket, not only for me, but for the city and for my family, you know, just to show them that, you know, Orlando, we really got the boys down there. The confidence level you have in BJ to, to step in there. Seemed like he made a real smart play at the end of the half yeah, to, to step in and, and fill those shoes. Yeah, man. You know, hey, he got the same last name as me. You know, that's my brother. Um, I always like have, I always have faith in whoever's on the field. I, I never have no doubt. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, this team is built off next man up mentality. So even if I went down, man, I know Bijo would have came in there and, and did his thing. Great. Thank you, guys. Thank you, I think that you did that. That's like a big key. Limited the penalties, limited the security with the ball, everything. Yeah, clean football was going to be a point of emphasis, especially with these conditions, because um, this team is, is really good in turnover ratio. Um, so they've been doing a great job getting turnovers and taking care of the ball, um, and we've been doing the same thing. So uh, turnovers, we know that's a huge indicator of win-loss, so it was really important to take care of the ball. Two touchdowns, both on fourth down. I know you love when the coach puts his confidence in you guys like that. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's always awesome to see where he believes in his guys, especially in those pressure situations, um, and we prepare for those all the time. We, we get put in those situations in practice. So they just got to execute on game day. You start with a win on the road at Minnesota and a win on the road at Green Bay. It's a great way to start the NFC North. Massive, massive, because these are two really tough places to play. Um, and being 2-0 in the divisions, I mean, it, it, pretty much invaluable. Taylor, I just want to push you down on the lack of mistakes that you guys have and the amount of mistakes you seem to make other teams create, <clears throat> whether it's you know a hard count or turnovers or whatever it is. Can you just explain that, maybe why you guys are so successful at limiting the mistakes on one hand and creating them on the other? I mean, first and foremost, you got to give credit to the guys in this locker room. We got some smart players that really care and they put the extra time in to know what their assignments are going to be. Um, and then on top of that, we drill a lot of situational football. Um, I feel like every single day we're doing something and it's like, yeah, when's this going to come up? You never know, but when it does, it's important. Um, so just a lot of credit to everybody always being prepared. I mean, we know every single week, here's all the, the end of the game plays that could come up. Here's all the situations and we go over them every week. So uh, a lot of credit to the guys to get this type of win, I mean, as commanding as it was against another really good team in the NFC, what does it say about where you guys are and maybe what this team can do too? Um, you know, I, I, first and foremost, I'll give credit to the Packers. They're, they are a damn good football team. Um, but we feel like the only people who can stop us um, is us. Um, and if we're doing what we, sh what we should be doing and executing, um, then, then, then we should win these games. What was it like playing in that weather out there? Yeah, that, that was one of the that was one of the <laughs> more sloppy games I've ever played in. And then in the third quarter, the wind started picking up, so it was getting a little cold, even though the temperature wasn't so low. Um, but that's that's the Green Bay experience. I think Kevin has, has never played here. Yeah, and this was his first time. I'm like, well, you, you got the you got the full experience, so it was cool. You like it? Or, I mean, you can do I it mean, we, we know we're going to run the ball a lot, and that's that's kind of you like know, it when you win that, 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 that plays right into the yeah. offensive lineman's hands. So I'm I'm cool with that. Sorry, if someone's already asked. This is showing up a little bit late, but yeah. three straight wins at Lambeau for the first time since 86 to 88. What goes through your head when you hear that? 
Uh, that, I mean, first of all, that's, that's a long time since this <laughs> happened. Um, again, it's just a testament to the type of guys that we come in here. We don't we don't bat an eye at adversity. We don't bat an eye at a challenge. Um, we just got the right group of people. So a lot of credit to uh, uh, Brad and Dan for bringing in the right type of player. Um, and then just the guys in the locker room. They're not they're not sh um, going to shy away from a big opportunity. You guys have to react to that at all? Uh, uh, for me, just a little bit. I didn't realize that was a rule in the NFL. I thought that was only a college thing, but I guess it's an NFL thing too, I guess. I, I don't know, but just hats off to the next guy who stepped in. I, I Brandon Joseph does a heck of a job, and um, I feel like just the whole secondary is playing at a high level right now. Final thing for me, 7-1 start. What's that mean to you and your teammates in this yeah. room? Uh, I mean, it's it's just a, it's just accumulation of what we've been doing since July, uh, just doing uh, OTAs even, just doing all the little things right. Just got to continue to do it week in and week out. This is a big one. Just enjoy this one, but also get ready to move on to the next week. It's going to be big for us. So. Thanks, Jack. Thank you. I want to go back to that fourth and one. Can you just yeah. take us through what, what DJ meant to you on that play? Yeah, no, I mean, again, DJ is DJ, and he's going to take take up all those blockers, and I will not, when that, that gives me an opportunity to be free, I need to make the play, and I feel like um, I couldn't have done that without him. So uh, just being able to stand him up and just uh, trying to give our offense the ball back. And, Especially in, in the in the tight red like that, um, that was a that was a I feel like a, a big moment in the game to kind of just give our offense the ball back and try to create some momentum into our favor. There was a, a hesitation there in terms of whether they got it or not. Right, mm -hmm. maybe even a commercial yeah. break. We know how you are on first and second down. You're back to business really quick. Yeah. Fourth down, let you maybe feel a little bit more. Yeah. Just we, no, we got yeah. to see the, the full no Jack Campbell emotion yeah, on that no, one. No, exactly. I mean, yeah, when. I mean, I knew it was short right away, yeah. and, and Anzo came up to me and said, we got to celebrate, so we did something, but just having fun with it. So. Yeah, this is a career high in tackles for you. Can you feel that when a game's going on, when you're just yeah. in the flow and, and finding the ball? Oh, um, not really, man. Honestly, just yeah. trying to honestly get do my job. I feel like um, that's a strength of mine is just the run game and getting the ball down. So. Um, just being able to do what I got to do to come out and get these big ones is kind of what I'm doing. So. Yeah, thank you. Green Bay is a big rival, you know. They were just a team that was in the way, you know. So, uh, like I said, we understand the goal, you know. So, we just going 24-hour rule, man. Enjoy this win, man. And be able to uh, focus on Houston. And they put up 411 yards, but you obviously held them to very minimal scoring. What does that say about what you guys are doing in the secondary? Uh, we're not where we want to be at, you know, but that's 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 always a good sign. But we, you know, we're not satisfied. We're not where we want to be at. So we're going to keep stacking, keep, you know, focus on the little, little things and, and uh, you know, keep trying to reach our goal. Win at Minnesota, win at Green Bay. What's it mean to start your division schedule? Uh, it's always good, man. You know, it's always good. But we got to keep going. We just, you know, we just got to keep Keep going. Like I always say, I know y'all probably talk, but it, it is what it is. We got a 24-hour rule, man, because we understand how this league is. You could be up and then, you know, be uh, you know, you could get too satisfied. But I understand this team is not one of those teams that gets, you know, that that they get complacent. So we're gonna keep stacking and, and, and trying to reach our goal. How do you think this team plays so well in the world? Great, <laughs> great, man. You know, because we know, man, we know who, you know, we killers, man. Killers kill. That's what they do. We got to keep on stacking them, though. If I told you that Lions fans online are really embracing Brian's gestures to the refs and how good those picks look, what would you say to that? <laughs> Go to show you what kind of fan. We got some ride or die fans. That's what I can say. Um, and Ra, I know if I ask an individual question, you're going to give it back to the team, and we know, but now this is six straight games with receiving touchdowns. You tie Herman Moore's franchise record. Does consistency like that? Mean anything to outside the win? Uh, I mean, yeah, it's nice. It's nice to score uh, as a receiver, but I mean, whatever. I feel like whatever I got to do to help the team win, um, and it just so happened that I've scored the last six games. Um, yeah, I mean, if, anytime you can put points on the board is good. Um, so I'm trying to score every game if I can. Um, but every game is different. You know, conditions today were crazy. We haven't played in, in that all year, so uh, more run heavy, and we knew that going into it. But um, yeah, I'm just glad to help in any way that I can. You come in with the Green Bay Sox hoodie, sitting atop the <laughs> NFC now. Just how sweet is this win? Yeah, it, it feels good to come to Lambeau. To win here it always feels good, I would say. Um, division, you know, division rival, um, good team, really good team. Um, we knew it was going to be tough, conditions, everything just coming into it. And, you know, I'm glad we came out on top because I feel like this is a huge game and it's only going to get even bigger, I feel like, as we move forward. 
and as the season goes because they're really good. They're going to keep winning, and hopefully we can keep winning too. So um, this, this matchup was big, but I think, you know, like I said, I think we'll realize how big this win was even, even more as, as the year goes. As the day, as the um, yeah, as the year goes. Sorry, you took a little victory lap. Uh, acknowledging your fans here at Lambeau. For sure, you know, I feel like, I mean, I always say this to everyone. I feel like we have the best fans in the world. They travel super, really well. Um, you saw all the blue, blue shirts and blue jerseys out there today, and I mean, we love them. They were at the end of the game, you know, chanting Jared Goff. Uh, even some third downs, I felt like when Packers were on offense, it was pretty loud out there for them, so um, we love them, they're the best, and we're, we're glad to, to keep putting on for them. Not only were you guys... What statement were you trying to make? We're just having fun, just having fun with it. You know, I got beer poured on me last year, so, you know, maybe some, some back for them. <laughs> Not only were you guys 100% on fourth downs, but two fourth down touchdowns. What does that say about this offense's persistence, even when the score's up? Yeah, um, it says a lot. You know, we, I feel like we as a team, we have the confidence to go for it, and we know that if it's third and eight, or third and seven, and we only get five yards, we probably know we're going, to, going for it on fourth down. And so when he calls a play and we think, you know, this play is only going to get five yards, you know, I would say a few years ago, we, in my head, I was like, what are we doing? This is only going to get five yards. But now I understand that, okay, we want to get five yards here, and then we're going to go for on fourth down. So we know that going into games, and I feel like that's what really makes us special as an offense. What impressed you about how Jared threw the ball in this weather? Yeah, it was super impressive. Um, I'm out there freezing my off um, and I don't know how he can possibly throw in that weather with the rain the wind um, and it seemed like it barely phased him and I mean credit to him he's, he's put the work in um, you know we play indoors so obviously we don't play as many outdoor games as some quarterbacks and whatnot but he I mean he played great he was unfazed and he's a big big part of the reason why we won. Yeah uh, I, I honestly thought I was going to get more separation um, you know, we were running the route all week, and we had ran it before two years ago in camp, and I created a lot of separation, and I was wide open. So when he called it on fourth down, I said, okay, here we go. And as I was running it, I didn't really create the separation that I wanted, and I felt he was still on me, so I didn't think he was going to throw it. And I looked back, and he threw it. He threw a great ball back shoulder, um, and I was able to catch and get two feet in. Tom Brady said that he had, hasn't seen in the broadcast a route like that before. Can you describe that route, the little hitch? And yeah, yeah, so we run uh, a lot of like fast motions, and I'll you know, run like a drag route and, come re and return back in. Uh, a lot of return routes in our, in our offense, so it's basically just off that. It's a fake return and then go back up to the, you know, to the back pylon. And we've had it in our offense for a few years now. I haven't really called it, but we got it off the sheet today and it worked. So you have this ability to create mistakes on other teams, whether it's making them jump off sides or the turnovers, and yet you're, you know, you're walking in. Uh, keep your composure on. Um, you, know, you guys, what, what does that say about this team that you're able to, to do that so well? Like, it's avoid mistakes and create them. Yeah, I think it's huge. Um, you know, going into this game, Coach, Coach Campbell talked to us about turnover ratio, and that's going to be big going into this game, and I think it was. Um, but keeping our composure, I think, you know, the way, the way our coaches coach us and what they preach, um, nothing's ever bigger than the team. Um, your individual battle is never bigger than the team. Um, and that's, I feel like that's something that we, you know, we, we stand firm on. And I know we had one penalty today, but I mean, it got pretty chippy out there for the, a little bit, I could, you could say, um, especially after what happened with Brian and the whole thing there. But, you know, we're able to keep our composure, and that's the biggest thing. Because, like, like all the coaches say, I mean, you, your battle with with the DB or with the the lineman is not as important as this win for the whole team. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I only saw it from the replay that they showed. It didn't look too, to me, it didn't look warranted of a of an ejection. Um, I don't know how that all works out, but I thought he put his shoulder in. I didn't see the whole thing, but it's kind of, eh, I don't know. It's kind of iffy. Jared started out the day today, 11 for 11. Is there anything you guys talked about to play through that weather? And did it get worse as the game went on, the rain and the wind? Yeah, I think the weather did get a little worse. For sure, the wind, the rain started pouring down more. Um, but, I mean, once the game started, we knew it was raining, and those were the conditions that we were faced with throughout the game, and we knew that. So I don't think it really changed much for us as the game went on. Three straight wins at Lambeau for the first time since 86 to 88. You hear that. What goes through your head? Um, I mean, it's nice. It's awesome. But, you know, we play them twice a year, so we, we're going to see them again in, in Detroit. Uh, we know what happened last year. They came, you know, they came to us on Thanksgiving and, and handed it to us. So um, it's nice to, to win here. But, 
like I said, each each division you'll see twice a year, or each you know matchup you'll see twice a year. So they're going to come ready the next time we play them. Um, but for right now, I mean, this win is big for us in the time being. You know where everything is at. Them being, you know, only having two losses, us having one. So that was a big win for us.